Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to Higher Mathematics. Really interesting problem today, as you can see, today we have a problem with 7th power, so it's not like square, it's not like cube that we always see this problem, we have 7th power, so it looks like interesting problem and I hope you will, you will enjoy it. Well, let's try to solve it. First of all, we have a really good expression on the left hand side, we have a sum, we don't have parentheses, so let's leave it with, with this one, with this way, we have x to the 7 plus 7 to the 7, so x to the 7 plus 7 to the 7th power equal to. But with the right hand side we need to know about the Pascal triangle because we have 7th power. We need to raise this to the 7th power using a Pascal triangle. But what about this coefficient right here? So if we're talking about 7th power it looks like 1, then 7, then 21, then 35, then once more 35, 21, 7 and 1. So we, we need to know it, we need to, to learn it. Because we have 7th power, we have this coefficient real quick. And let's raise this x plus 7 to the 7th power using this Pascal triangle. So first of all, we have 1 times x to the 7 times 7 to the power 0. So we have this first element. Then plus 7, the second coefficient, plus 7 times x to the 6th power times 7 to the 1st power. So this one reduced by 1 and this power increased by 1. Yeah, this is a Pascal triangle. Then plus 21 times x to the 5th power times 7 square. Reduced by 1, increased by 1. Yeah, let's go next. We will have 35. So plus 35 x to the 4th, 7 cube. And, also, and once more plus 35 x cube 7 to the fourth power. Yeah, we have this expression. And this is not the end because we have 35. We need to, to know the three elements plus then 21 x square 7 to the fifth power. Next one plus 7 x 7 to the sixth power and plus 7 to the seventh power. Yeah, so this is our a expression raising to the seventh power within a Pascal triangle. So we hope you understand this step. This is coefficient real quick. This is reduced by one. This is increased by one. And we have our expression. But if we look closely to this, why this is good for us? Because take a look closely. One times x to the power seven times seven to the zero power. If we rate this right here, one, one times one, one and x to the seven. So right here we will have x to the 7 and this one is x to the 7. So as a result we can easily cancel this expression and this expression. Yeah, we can easily cancel this. And let's go next. If we look closely to our left, right hand side, we can see the last element 7 to the 7th power and this one is 7 to the 7th power. So we can easily cancel this and this element. And finally we can easily simplify this, this element that we have right here. But how can we simplify this? First of all, I want to show you a really interesting trick. What is this trick, uh, what this is trick about? First of all, we need to, right here, we have seven times seven. This is equal to seven square. So seven square times x to the sixth power, yeah? So this is first element, we are completely right right here. We have right here 21 times x to the fifth times seven square. If you bring one seven, so right here we have three times seven. If you bring one seven, so we have a seven cube, so plus seven cube. Right here we still have one seven, or one three, three we have, times three and times x to the fifth power. So I hope you understand this, what I'm going to do right now. We complete this element. Let's go next, 35 x to the fourth seven cube. This 35 can be written as 7 times 5. So as a result, 1, 7 goes, goes right here. So we have plus 7 to the 4th power and times 5 times x to the 4th power. So we complete this element right here using this way. Let's go next. Completely the same but different, different powers. So we have plus 7 to the 5th times 5, 5x five x, x cube. Let's go next. So what we'll have as a result? Right here we have 21 x square 7 to the fifth. So as a result we have plus 7 to the sixth power times 3 x square. And the last step plus 7 to the seventh power right here because this 7 and this 7 to the sixth, this is 7 to the seventh power times x. 
So why I read this expression? Because you, 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 you can ask me why I do this, why I do this trick right here. Because we, right now we can easily simplify this, because in every of these element we can easily factor 7 square times x. So take a look, 7 square times x. If you go to this one, 7 square times x, we leave with x to the fifth power, yeah? We leave with this. Then plus 7 times 3 times x to the fourth power, I just reject 7 square and x in every of these of this element, or I just factor this. So the next one, what we have plus 7 square times 5x cube. The next one plus 7 cube times 5x square. And of course, plus 7 to the fourth power times 3x and plus 7 to the fifth power. So I just factor this, of course, equal to 0. So I just factor from here 7 square times x. From this all parentheses, I factor this element. And right now, if you look closely, we have a product. So this one equal to 0, so 7 squared times x equal to 0. From here, x equal to 0. This is, looks like our first root. And if you look closely to this one, we can easily see that right here, x second will be equal to minus 7. Because if you look to our problem in the beginning, we will see that our x equal to minus 7, because this is odd power, so minus 7 to the 7 plus 7 to the 7 equal to 0, and minus 7 plus 7 equal to 0 as well. So we have two roots right now, real quick, two roots, but this is not all roots right here. We need to, we need to factor from here x plus 7, because what do you have right now? We have this expression, we have 7 square times x, this give us this 0, so this root is 0 right here in this product. Then we need to multiply it by x plus 7, because we find our second root. But what about the last parenthesis right here? We can easily solve it, I write it real quick, real quick with my formula, so as a result in this, is this parenthesis, if we factor x plus 7 from this long expression, we will have x to the fourth plus 14x cubed plus 147x square and plus 686x and plus 2401 equal to equal to zero. So as you can see right here, we have first root in this element, second root x equal to minus seven in the second parenthesis. And we have these long parentheses and it looks like right here we'll have four more roots. So everything is good four roots right here let's try to let's try to solve this parenthesis at first so we have x to the fourth i write it at first x to the fourth then we have 14 times x cube i write this as plus 2 times 7 times x cube yeah let's go next plus 147 this is 3 times 49 or we can write it as 3 times 7 square and times x square this is second element this is third element. Okay, the fourth element right here, 686. How can we write it? We can write this 686 as 2 times 7 cube and times x. Okay, and right here, of course, plus. And the last step, 2401, we can write it as plus 7 to the fourth power equal to 0. Okay, we just write it in another way, s is a power of 4. And right now, how can you find our root? Because this is a fourth power, so a lot of a lot of method, a lot of trick right here. But let's divide both sides. So let's divide both sides by, so dividing, by 3 times 7 square and times x square. Let's divide all of this element by this expression. So as a result, if we divide by this expression, this x to the fourth, we will have x square over 3 times 7 square plus 2 times x and in the denominator 3 times 7 then plus 1 because we divide in completely the same thing and plus 2 times 7 and all over 3 times x plus 7 square dividing this by 7 square by 3 times x square in our denominator equal to 0 so we have this we have this expression right now and from here we need to find we need to find our x how can we do this let's factor from here so right here we have 
we can easily cancel. So let's group this one element and this one. So from this element, the first one, so this one and this one, I want to factor one over three. So if you factor one third, one third in parentheses, we will have x square over seven square and plus seven square over x square. If you factor from this one and from this one, if you factor one third. And from here, let's factor two third. So we will have plus two third, two third in parentheses x over seven plus seven over x and plus one in the end, plus one equal to zero. Okay, okay, we have this expression. I know that that a little bit complicated, but it's it's seven spara, it's not an easy problem, but let's let's try to finish it. Okay, we have x square over seven square, so completely, maybe completely the same elements right here, but if you use substitution, so if x, if x over seven equal to t, so if x over seven equal to t. So what we will have as a result? We will have really interesting, really interesting moment. We will have one third times right here t square, right here one over t square, so t square and right here plus one over t square, okay? Okay, plus two third times this parenthesis right here, so we, have, we can write it as t, so as a result plus two third, two third times t plus one over t and plus one equal to equal to zero, yeah? So we have this after our substitution. And right now it's really good not work with this square, let's work with another substitution. So then let's t plus one over t equal to, for example, u. And as a result, we will have the t square plus one over t square will be equal to u square minus two. After this, after this substitution. And what a quadratic equation we will have? We will have one third over u square minus two, or not over like multiplying, plus two third times u and plus one equal to zero. Real quick multiplying by three, we will have u square plus two u plus one, which is equal to u plus one square equal to zero. And as a result from here, u equal to minus one. So we find our u, u equal to minus one. Let's go to our substitution. So we will have that u equal to minus one. And as a result, t plus one over t equal to minus one. Quadratic equation real quick. And we will have right here, t square plus t and plus one equal to zero. Let's find real quick our roots. What is this root? Of? We will have the next one. We will have that our t one and t second equal to minus one plus minus square root b square we will have minus three over over two. And right here we will have complex roots. I'm not sure where I write our final answer, but I hope you you can easily see it right here and in the end. So our answer. Our answer. First root x first equal to zero, x second equal to minus seven, and x we will have like x from here, we can easily write this one as right here. So we will have x three and four or x three and four right, right here real quick equal to minus one plus minus square root or we can write it as i times square root of three over over two. This is our, our root. Right here, of course, we will have four complex roots. So four complex, four complex roots and two real roots, two real roots, two real roots. And of course, right here we need the seven. I forgot a little bit because we had a substitution that right here x over seven equal to t. So we need to multiply it by seven. So this is our our answer. And of course, we'll have four pair of solution because right here we'll have two root two two roots with this substitution. We'll have four complex and two real roots. Complicated problem, I know, but I hope you enjoy it. I hope you be with me till the end of the video because it's it's not an easy problem because we have seventh power. It's not like a quadratic equation, we need to find tricks right here and we need to find how can we, how can we solve it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. 
If it's not hard to you, please leave a like, write any comment and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.